After collecting the data from the field and uploading it to your computer, you are now ready to load your database into your software. Once you have opened your software, click Configure, Databases, then choose Add. Locate the project file on your computer. In this example, the file is a LabScan IMP file. You should now see your database loaded into the server. In order to begin modeling, we will register our scans together to create a model space. First, expand the dataset, then expand the project file. Here are the two scan worlds that we are going to register. Highlight the file name in the LabScan dataset. Right mouse click to create another project folder. Name this folder REG. Now, right-click the Registration folder to create a registration. We will leave this as the default name, Registration1. Next, double-click the registration to open the registration window. Then click the Add Scan World button. The software automatically takes you to the project folder. Expand the project folder. Here are the two scan worlds. Select both scan worlds and click the arrow to bring them to the registration window. Now click OK. Choose the Set Home Scan World button in order to register the scans. In this instance, Scan World 1 is our default. Choose Auto Add Constraints. Now go to the constraint list. Here we will see the three targets we used in this project. Now click the Register button. Now we have registered the dataset. Here we can see the error and the error vector. These numbers should always be less than 5 millimeters. Now choose Create Scan World and Freeze Registration. Next, create a model space. We can check to see that we have created our model space by selecting the Model Space tab and then selecting both scan worlds. We need to create basic layers in order to keep track of the area and parts of the model. First, expand the scan world registration. Go into the model space by clicking Model Space. Then choose to create and open a model space view. Next, choose the Layers window. Now create a new layer and call this layer CS. Now create layers called Walls, Floor, Pipes, Structure, and finally Equipment. Now our layering scheme is complete. 